This is the story of my trip to Thailand. I swam in waterfalls, visited temples, went zip lining. Okay, let me start over. This is how it went down. Booking the tour was actually the easiest part because next came telling my mom. Hi mom. Yeah, I wanted to tell you uh, that I booked a trip to Thailand, uh, but I'm gonna be safe because I'm going on a tour like with other people. What do you mean I'm not good at making friends, mom? I'm not gonna end up in a Thai prison. I'm not telling the tour guide about my heat rashes. I know malaria is a real thing. That Facebook article you tagged me in. I got your email. That's fake news, by the way. She had a right to be nervous. She's my mom. I'm going on this trip all by myself. I don't know the language. And what if the trip sucks? Okay, I was nervous too. Putting nerves aside, I got on the plane and flew to Bangkok. I met up with my group and kicked off our tour with a trip to the floating market. Here's the floating market, and here's my group. You're probably thinking, vacations are to be spent by the beach. Well, not entirely. I like to get active on my vacations. One day, we went hiking, and along the way, we went swimming in different waterfalls. I loved it, especially the natural slides. Keeping things physical, we also spent an afternoon learning from circus trainers. They were pretty impressive. I can't say I was great at it, but I did hang out in this gorgeous pool. Next was zip lining. Honestly, this might just be my new favorite thing. Look at that view. And this wasn't the only epic view we saw. Check these out. Definitely something I never got tired of seeing. And when we did want to relax, we did things like hang out in a hot spring. Here's some more of the hot spring. And here's me being weird in the hot spring. We also just spent some time having a drink by the pool. Okay, maybe two drinks. Here's Alicia emerging from the water in slow motion. And here's Laura. I really made some awesome friends on this trip. I never really felt like I was on a tour. I wasn't shuttled from tourist trap to tourist trap. Instead, I got to go see places like the White Temple, Wat Lokaya Sutha, and the ruins of Ayutthaya. Going there at sunset really felt magical. Next, we visited a Long Neck tribe, which was totally unforgettable. Having a local guide introduce us was great. They made sure we understood the tribe's complicated history, so our time with them was more than just a photo op. Where do you come from? Oh, by the way, have you ever had rolled ice cream? Well, it's awesome. Sorry, got distracted by food again. So to do a lot of these things, there was some traveling involved, but it was so worth it. And a lot of it was actually fun. A night train, for example. We are currently on the night train. This is Mickey, our Thai tour guide. Here's the view out my window. And here's Nicola and Lewis getting tucked into bed. Of course, we took rides and tuk-tuks, but mainly, so many boats. We're about to get on a boat. Here's more of me on boats. And here's one of the Thai boat drivers. One very cool place that the boats took us to was to the floating bungalows. And of course, the first thing we did when we got there was go swimming. It's hot in Thailand, okay? Overall, this trip was super affordable. I came home and could still pay my rent. Success, am I right? I made so many friends, saw and experienced things I never have in my entire life. And having someone else do the planning made me feel like I never missed out on anything. If you're considering taking a trip, just do it. And I don't mean to sound preachy, but there really is no better time than right now. So I'll stop ranting about how awesome my trip was now and just say, how funny is it to think that I was nervous? One thing's for sure. My travel story is just beginning.